Hey guys, Chad Taverny here with Vantage Point Outdoors, and I've got a couple of uh, food plot tips I wanted to share with you today. Today is uh, June 10th, 2016, and this is my first time on my property since uh, March when I came in here and did some frost seeding of clover. Now, the two tips I have for you today is, first of all, um, I have not yet... Um, fertilized any of my food plots I'm mowing them today for the first time and I'm going to show you here in a few in a, in a few minutes but uh, the food plots really are not uh, for being June 10th they're really not all that tall and I'm noticing some discoloration in, in the clovers so that tells me that they're certainly in need of fertilizer and that brings me into the first tip here is I've actually gotten away from putting down my fertilizer too early in the springtime. Most people, when they're fertilizing food plots, especially perennial food plots, they like to put down their fertilizer right off early spring. Um, but what that does is it's also going to let those weeds utilize that fertilizer, and it's going to have um, it's going to allow those weeds to really grow rapidly in the spring, which can only which are only going to increase the effects of choking out your clover. So what I've done here the last, actually this is my first year trying this technique, and I think it's going to work well, is yeah, my clovers, they're doing really good in uh, for the most part. And But I've also, by not fertilizing too early this spring, I haven't allowed the weeds to really get all that tall here. So the weeds also have not been able to utilize this fertilizer. So now when I come in here and mow today, I'm going to come back in here tomorrow, and fertilize and weeds typically have their strongest growth cycle right off early in the spring um, and there and then once you mow them back typically you know mid you know early summer through the end of summer weeds don't typically grow as fast and that will allow your clovers which do have a strong growth cycle the entire growing season it'll allow those clovers to really choke out your weeds better by not fertilizing too early in the spring so i actually now have gone to my first fertilizer application being uh in this mid june time period i think it's going to work work really well now i'm going to show you the food plot here okay so as you guys could see there the weeds really have not uh grown too rapidly this spring I'm mowing them back today, going to come back in here again tomorrow, fertilize, and with the fresh mowing plus fertilizer application, clover food plot should look really, really good here in about a month. And uh, I'm going to show you here a little bit of discoloration. You see some of those clovers are uh, you know turning red, yellow. Um, it's sporadic throughout my food plots I've noticed today. And uh, that's because they're not getting a lot of nutrients, which is because I haven't fertilized yet. But it's also helped me keep these weeds in check a little better. So that's uh, one tip I wanted to share with you guys. And of course, my second tip is always, is uh, I have really good luck mowing with my uh, Cub Cadet uh, garden tractor. I just keep the deck raised as high as it'll go. As high as the deck will go, I, I that's what I mow on. And uh, it works a charm mowing these clover food plots so just a couple of quick tips for you guys um i know i haven't posted a video here in a while been uh, real busy this spring um bicycle riding actually um but uh first mowing of the year food plots look really good i haven't seen them in a few months and uh i'm encouraged to how the season's gonna go thanks again uh, thanks again everybody for tuning in and uh, i'll see you next time right here on vantage point outdoors